Instagram, the next steps, analyze your audience. On Instagram, nothing happens by accident, so through audience analysis, you will be able to know the demographics of your followers, their ages, which content they like the most and even the hours when they are most active. This will lead you to plan and study the content you're going to publish and even the best time you can do it. Just as companies and brands must find their buyer person, your duty as an influencer is to find a community that feels an affinity with you that likes your content and not only that, that is able to interact with it and share it with other people. Analyzing Instagram followers is something you should always do if you want to achieve success with your campaigns. Whether you're planning a strategy or not, you need to know what's going on in your social network. By planning, you can increase your followers, get more engagement and improve your sales. Then you'll be able to see if your Instagram strategy is achieving its goals. You will then be able to improve and refine your plan to improve your stats again. Still not clear? Well, it's great to know that you should always have a dashboard on hand to see what's working, what's not and what needs to be done to fix it. Analyzing your followers on Instagram is part of managing your online community, knowing who is following you and why it is imperative to your brand. So, analyzing and measuring should be a core activity within your entire social media strategy. This is essential for several reasons. It allows you to adapt your content strategy according to your followers, knowing the best times of day to share content. To notice which of your followers are active and which are not, to be able to reactivate the passive ones. Knowing what kind of content your community creates to get an idea of what works best. Segmenting your audience better to adapt your strategies to each one. Analyzing why people follow or unfollow you. But how? The answer is simple, by analyzing Instagram's profile metrics. Growth rate of followers? If you consider that social networks are platforms for social interaction, it is clear that this metric will not be the most important of all. But it will be beneficial to control the evolution of the number of followers. And this, although it is not a determinant, will give you a good idea of how effective your strategy is being. Finding the relationship between the actions you take and the increase or decrease of your followers is the objective of this metric. Once you upload an image, analyze what happens and ask yourself, have my followers increased? What content have you published when too many have decided to stop following you? The famous engagement. The engagement of a publication is the number of interactions it can achieve. Whether they are clicks, likes, or shares, this will be a clear indication of the quality of your content on Instagram. This metric is essential to set the direction of your strategy because it gives a good account of what your followers like best. By looking at each publishing format separately, images, videos, stories, etc., you'll find it much easier to determine which ones work best. Audience metrics. Of course, when analyzing Instagram followers, there are several specific metrics. These are the ones that will help you better determine what your followers are like, what their habits are, how they behave with your posts, etc. This allows you to know what your audience is like in terms of demographics and what the peak hours are for them. The power of stories. Stories is Instagram's most successful tool since it came out into the world. It also has metrics that can help you know if the stories you share are appealing and being well received by your fans. So, its five metrics are. Next, the number of times a user views your story and clicks on the right side of the screen to move to the next story. Back the number of times a user sees your story and clicks on the left of the screen to see it again. Next story, the number of times people swipe to see the stories of the following account. This indicates that your stories are not being attractive. Dropouts, the number of times users drop out of stories by returning to the feed or exiting Instagram directly. Responses, this is how many users have direct responses to your stories. For example, if you have linked something, how many users swipe up? Connect with other influencers. Networking is essential, especially if you're looking to meet people in your niche or with a similar audience. Working with other influencers can be a great thing on Instagram, especially if they are in the same industry. Today it is no longer a question of who can establish more partnerships, but of who is capable of doing the hard work. That is why Instagram provides you with tools that seek humanization, a network inhabited by real communities, by people who support each other and work in teams. You can establish a network of contacts within the target you have decided to focus on, People who do the same as you and who, of course, are willing to collaborate with you. Attend events where other influencers are present, and where you can make yourself known and make part of your work recognized. The events are also an excellent opportunity for brands to discover their new allies. But does that mean you should only collaborate with people who are just like you? No, if your business network is made up exclusively of people who are exactly like you, 
you will be missing out on significant business opportunities. As an influencer, you will have countless opportunities to collaborate creatively with people in other industries. Benefits of making collaborations with other influencers. It can help you get brand partnerships or generate business opportunities. It will help you to give visibility to your content and therefore, awaken the interest of a new audience. It is an excellent opportunity to meet new suppliers or brands interested in you. It will improve your level of communication and other professional skills, such as leadership. You will be able to see and meet your competition, even form alliances with them. You will increase your self-esteem and self-confidence. You will learn about success stories and the path they went through to get to the top. You will be aware of market trends. If you want to expand your professional and digital networks, creating alliances can take you extremely far. How to connect with other influencers. Think carefully who you want to reach and why. Not every influencer might be suitable to your niche, style and goals. If you're contacting an influencer on the same niche as yours, odds are they have seen your content, which will make the conversation easier. On the other hand, contacting an influencer outside your niche or area of interest can have several benefits, such as recommending each other for different areas of interest. You can use several online tools such as HypoDetour and InfluenCity to measure the reach of the influencer you wish to contact. Consider what you want from them and what can you offer to them in return. Think about the ways in which you and the other influencer can work together. If you can, reach out to them in person. Attend the same events as them. Book a personal appointment if necessary. There's something special about face-to-face communication and the connection it creates that can't be replaced. You can use that in your favor. If you have to resort to digital communications, remember that you're talking to another human being on the other side of the screen. Be kind and allow yourself to reduce the formalities, since they might generate distance between you and the influencer. Interacting makes the audience feel special, part of a community. Besides, Instagram has tools that allow you to showcase part of your day-to-day life and generate interaction through quick questions or surveys. The Instagram algorithm does not reward an account full of likes and comments, but those who take the time to respond to their followers and generate positive feedback from them. Remember, they're not just followers. They're a community that you should value and make them feel like they're there. Your Instagram profile is like home and your followers are your visitors. As a good host, you must take care of your visitors' comfort, feed them, talk to them and provide them with an unforgettable time. If you don't treat your visitors well at home, will they want to visit again? The answer is obvious. No one likes to stay in a place where they don't receive proper attention. That's why you should focus on treating your followers well, interacting with them and making them feel they are in the right place by following you. Interaction isn't just about you replying to comments or messages, it's also about you going to the profile of those following you and leaving a comment or even a like there. Create quality content. Have you thought about all the work that goes into taking the perfect picture? It's worth it when the reward is thousands of likes, interaction and new followers. The competition is high on Instagram, but if your content is quality, you'll have a guaranteed safe audience. Remember that Instagram is a more humane social network every day, so your content should be genuine and as original as possible. If you copy, your followers will notice. Also, if you want to make it your secure income, then you need to take it seriously and invest in equipment that can produce photos and videos to suit your audience and even get advice from professionals such as photographers or graphic designers who can help you create visually appealing content. Be creative. Remember that interaction is not just about sitting back and waiting for likes and comments. You must also provoke the interaction by being creative with the creation of your content and of course, by calling for action. Always ask your followers what they think about this, would you like to see more similar content? And even take advantage of the use of stickers in your stories such as surveys, questionnaires, questions. It's a way to generate interaction and, at the same time, create content almost instantly. As in all social networks, you must interact with the people you are interested in being followed. Contacting brands. There is no specific number of followers that determine when you're ready for a brand to contact you, so it never hurts to take the risk of taking the first step. You can be an influencer or a micro-influencer. The goal for brands is the same, exposure, content creation and of course, generating sales or traffic. But who says that brands should strictly make the first contact? It is not something strict if you feel confident about your community, you can offer brand collaboration with you. After all, there is nothing to lose by trying. Do your research. Before you make the first contact with a brand, you should do some research about it, look at their social networks and find the most appropriate way to contact them. Remember that if you want to gain visibility as a professional, you must act as one. Locate an email that the brand has for the marketing department or if it is a smaller or emerging brand, contact them directly via WhatsApp. If you send a message to their Instagram mailbox, chances are your message will be lost. 
you want all the attention to be directed to you, even though it's online, the treatment should be as humane and personalized as possible. Researching also gives you the chance to learn about the brand and perhaps identify the critical point where you may be needed. If in your first contact, you tell the brand why they need you, it will be easier for them to understand why. You will have several points in your favor. You must also take care of coherence. When you have the purpose of contacting a brand you look for following it, interacting with it, arousing the interest in you in the same way you have in it. Many fall into the error of asking for collaboration with brands they do not know. Don't you do it too? Find brands that you can identify with and that you think will make your audience fall in love with. A good influencer knows its audience and knows that it will like what it shares. You only have one chance to make a first impression. Show that the brand can trust you because you went further from the beginning. Make contact. Once you have done your research, the next step is to contact the brand. Take your time to write a clear and precise message that tells the brand your interests in establishing an alliance and collaboration. Tell them who you are, what your main networks are and the channels you use to reach your audience. Remember that it is about honestly selling your image to awaken the brand's interest in you. Also, take advantage of the previous research you did, indicate your strengths, data that stand out that make the brand want to work with you. It's not about pointing out the brand and showing that there is something wrong with it, but rather highlighting the attributes you possess that may be relevant to the brand. Present yourself as a professional. Providing data is essential to justify the investment the brand will make in the collaboration. If your Instagram account is already a business or creator account, you'll have statistics to help you get accurate measurements of your target audience, the visits you have, where they locate and even the most favorable publishing hours. Data plays a vital role in working with any brand. Have at your disposal a portfolio of your work or a social media kit. This portfolio will not only make you look like a professional in front of the brand. An advisor can prepare a social media kit. Remember that you don't want to send an improvised job with screenshots that you have just made to your statistics. Professional work must be done in advance to get an excellent result. Persist without being pushy. There's nothing worse than a pushy, annoying person. If a brand gives you the first refusal to a proposal, you can withdraw, wait a couple of months and then reconsider the offer. In some cases, the brand may indicate that it is not the right time or that you can do it later. You are free to propose and they are free to reject. It's an excellent opportunity to learn and you don't know if the brands that rejected you will be interested in you later. Focus on excellence.